where does all that fit in with the notion of there was never a beginning, it always ever was, and always ever will be? Um, yes, it, the notion that there was never a beginning came from, originally, from people who decided they could not understand God. And so what they had to do was they had to come up with some concepts that defined their own existence. And one of the concepts is this concept that the universe expands, contracts, expands, contracts continuously. And as a, as a result, all of these souls, or you yourselves, are all born, die, born, die, born, die as well as part of this process. And it comes from those kind of doctrines and teachings that were established tens of thousands of years ago. And we still have a lot of them today. And they are based around not understanding how God could exist. So those souls there, that is the beginning of time for them. For them. The instant that God has a desire is the instant that whatever God desires is created. So whenever she desires to have children, whenever she desires to have children, she creates children in that instance. Does that make sense? There is no delay in anything God does. None whatsoever. And you will find this throughout your existence. And there's such a thing as then terminating the soul. It is not known, actually. Still not known whether the soul itself can actually die. There, it is known that certain types of souls that have received God's love into them can never die. So there is, there, it is known that there is a way to obtain immortality, but if the souls do not connect with God, then it's not known whether they die or not. Does that make sense? Right now, in the spirit world, is one of the major discussions in the spirit world, is to whether the soul can actually die or not. So there's still a lot of things not known, right? Which you would expect with an infinite God, would you not? Yeah. All right. So, okay, so far with that. <coughs> Every soul has a unique personality. And that comes from God. Yes. Yes. Every soul has a unique personality, and part and part of your role, if you like, or part of your process of discovery on Earth, is discovering your uniqueness. Discovering what it is that appeals to you, that makes you more, that makes you unique to yourself, and that's something that you will learn as you grow. <coughs> Have you met one of these individuals who, with God's grace, will not die? And um, there are <coughs> billions and billions of them in what are called Apparently the, on the uh, not on the planet, but in the spirit world, billions and billions of them. Yeah. When I say never die, I'm not just referring to this planet. Do you understand what I mean? I'm talking about the soul dying, not, not the body of the individual. The body is not you. You are not your body. You are not even your spirit form. You are, in fact, a half of a soul. And that half of the soul, as far as it is, is, no, as far as it is known, does not die. And I say as far as it is known because there are once souls that have received divine love and we know that they will never die, but there are souls that have not received divine love. And we'll talk about why that's the case. <coughs>